so dominant has the Democratic Party been in Maryland that it's difficult to remember that at the turn of the millennium, the political landscape in Maryland featured a vibrant Republican Party. At the beginning of the 21st century, half of the Maryland con congressional delegation were Republicans. And in 2002, a Republican was elected as governor for the first time in 40 years. Fast forward to 2013, and oh, have things have changed. According to the Baltimore Sun, the Maryland Republican Party is struggling to overcome ad adversity as the party faces financial and internal challenges. Mark, what's happened to your party? It seems like it dissolved <clears throat> just this summer. Well, I don't know about this summer. I think that the Sun's making a much about very minor uh, sort of uh, issues of sort of little consequence. Uh, I'm excited. I think we've got some great candidates running for governor, and, and it's candidates that really determine the fate of the party. Uh, whether it's David Craig or Charles Lawler or uh, uh, Ron George, we've got great candidates, and that's what will be the sort of defining uh, future for the party. Um, some of these other issues are really a, a minor, minor consequence. Steve, is he right? Can your party be saved? As our former allies, the British, would say he's spot on. He's absolutely dead on. It's, what a all, surprise. it's, it's all about winning the prize. And the fact that the Republicans have a vibrant bevy of good potential candidates for governor energizes the base, causes true dialogue of ideas between Democrats and Republicans. Doesn't mean they can they can win, but it means they can raise money, bring attention, oh. and there uh. there can potentially be a two party system in this. I want to go